Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I will be reviewing the Under Construction Collection with Shayla and Colourpop. This is Shayla's second collection with Colourpop and I loved her first one. Perception is one of my all-time favorite palettes. So I was really excited to see that she was collabing with them once again. I will be sharing with you my thoughts on all the products in the collection. I'll share some comparisons and dupes and at the end, of course, you guys will see my three looks that I created with the eyeshadow palette. If you guys are interested in seeing all of that, then just continue watching. So to get started, let's start off with some product info. This collection is a pretty small collection. You can get the whole thing, the PR kit, for 49 US dollars. And I feel like we never hear a price like that for a whole collection. Usually for a whole collection, it's usually like $100. But it's great that this is like a really small collection. It's not overwhelming. Everything makes sense. It's just a good collection. I feel like Shayla, with all her collections, is just compact and it's realistic you know what I mean I do want to note that I was gonna buy the PR kit because I think you save a bit of money buying it that way but when I went to check out it wouldn't let me check out because they said they couldn't ship the PR box out to me maybe it's because I live internationally they can't ship out such a big box perhaps I'm not too sure but I thought I would just note that for you guys because I know a lot of you guys are international Colourpop fans as well but in the collection there is an eyeshadow palette called proceed with caution this is 12 US dollars with nine eyeshadows she has has two lip bundles, both of them consist of an ultra thin lip and a lippy pencil. One is speed up with the BFF3 lippy pencil which is already an existing shade and the other one is slow down with BFF4 which is one that she created. They are 12 US dollars each. The ultra thin lip is 7 US dollars, the lippy pencil is 6 US dollars if you want to buy them individually. And then lastly we just have the press blushes in the compact. We have a whistle while you work which is more of like a brighter pink and then we have Construct which is a more of a dusty shimmery rose shade and these both are eight US dollars. Overall the theme of the collection is very cohesive you see it throughout the packaging. I love like the blueprint on the back of the packaging I think that's very smart very on theme. I love the yellow and black just very cohesive I love it so it's a really good well-rounded collection in my opinion. So the first thing in the collection I want to talk about is obviously the eyeshadow palette. Proceed with caution. In this palette you will get four mattes, four metallics and then gloves on. I would technically call it a matte as well. It's pretty much a matte base but it just has a lot of specks of glitters in it. So technically five mattes, four metallics. When you only have nine shadows it's very important to put a good amount of mattes and the selection of mattes and the selection of shimmers. So in this palette you get a highlighting shade. You get a transition, a medium, a dark and a pop of color. The shimmers are a good variety. We have a light gold, an orange, a rustic red and then a dark shimmer shade. You know the variety in here is just great and I feel like with Shayla she does a really good job of selecting the right amount of mattes. I mean her perception palette. It's a 16 pan palette there's only four mattes in there but the four mattes work and they are necessary shades and because Shayla is a makeup artist herself I feel like she really knows what she is doing when she is making her own palette. So this palette the range is like amazing it just works well like it just makes sense. I had a use for every single shade in here. In all three looks I was able to use all nine shadows. I didn't have any problem with it. I didn't feel like I was purposely trying to use this shade just to use it. Like it just worked out and it was just a really great palette to work with. You guys know I love the formula of it so if you like the shadows you see in here then I definitely would recommend it. When I was finding my comparisons and dupes I didn't feel like anything was exactly the same. I would say there are similar shades. I mean Colourpop has so many eyeshadows. It's bound to be similar shades but for the most part I wouldn't say anything is like an exact dupe. I'm really impressed with this palette. I mean for 12 US dollars like who is not gonna recommend it to be honest. We then have the lip bundle so we have two ultra thin lips and two of the lippy pencils. So Shayla herself is a woman of color. She's a lot darker than me and I just personally don't like the lippy pencils. They are too dark. I don't like a dark lip outline and then a lighter fill in. If I was to ever wear a lip pencil it would always match the lip color like that's just me personally personal preference but I know BFF3 is a very very popular lip line a lot of people use it especially with darker skin so I think it's a really great thing that she made darker lip pencils for people that have a deeper skin tone I think they would really appreciate this so I'm not gonna say I won't recommend it but just for my personal preferences I just don't like darker lip liners so I wouldn't recommend this but the formula is really good on the Colourpop lip pencils they are very creamy very smooth they don't tug on the 
lips, just not my kind of shade. As for the ultra satin lips, I do like them. They're not like my favorite formula to go to. I don't find them the most comfortable. I would have liked to have done Lux lipsticks again, but that's just my preference. I like the shade Slow Down, which is the one I'm wearing right now. I do see myself wearing this one more often. They both are very, very pretty shades, but just not my kind of everyday shade to wear. That is honestly down to personal preference. If you like the shades that you see, if you like the formula, then I mean by all means, that's all you. You can buy it. And lastly, we have the two press blushes. I am a huge fan of the press formula and I was happy that she was coming out with blushes. So Whistle While You Work is the one that I'm wearing right now and when I saw her I was like I'm not gonna like this one but actually it's really pretty and it's pretty subtle in my opinion. It's not as vibrant of like a hot pink on the cheeks than it is in the pan. Although I do like Whistle While You Work, I don't know how much I would wear it. I do like Construct though. This tone is really really pretty. I like these kind of dusty, muted, soft blushes. This does have a bit of shimmer in it, so it will give you a bit of sheen on the cheek, like a low-key highlight as well. To be honest, I'd recommend both just because they are so affordable. If you just wanted one recommendation for the blushes from me, then I would say Construct is my favorite one. So that was pretty much it for my review. I do want to apologize. Like, I'm sorry if I do sound like I'm rushing and I'm speaking really fast. It is because I am. The sun is just crazy today. It's super windy so the clouds are moving like back and forth and the sun keeps going in and out. I want to make the lighting a little bit consistent. I know it's not going to be perfect but I want it to be at least like similar throughout the video so I'm just trying to like talk as fast as I can, get the review over with because like the lighting just keeps changing. But overall, this was a really great collection. I think Shayla, she killed it once again. I didn't expect anything less from her, to be honest. Like I knew this was gonna be a really good collection. When I saw it, the amount of products in this collection just makes sense, you know? My recommendations would definitely be the palette and the blush and construct. If you do have a bit of money to spare, then I would say get the ultra satin lip and slow down. For the first look, I'm going to start off with the shade Proceed and I'm going to use this to set down my concealer which acts as my eye base. This is always an optional step. You don't have to set down your base if you don't want to. If you prefer a tacky base, then you can go ahead and just start off with the transition. But I like to set down my base, so I will be doing this for all three looks. I'm then going into the shade Culture and this is going to be my transition shadow. I'm putting that straight into my crease using windshield wiping motions. I am going to bring it a little bit high, almost close to my brow bone, just so it peeps through underneath all the dark smokiness that we're going to apply later on. Moving on to the shade Maintenance, I'm going to pop that right on my lid space. I'm going to focus it closer to my lash line first and then I'll slowly blend it up towards the transition shadow around my crease area. Then using the shade Gloves On, I'm doing exactly the same thing but I'm going to be using a smaller brush and I'm going to focus it even lower. This is mainly going near my lash line and this is going to be the darkest shade. Gloves On does have a little bit of specks of like gold yellow glitters in there but once you apply it onto the eyes, you don't really see any of that and it blends out so easily so you won't have any troubles with that but you do want to take your time with it because it is such a dark color. Thank you. 
Now taking the shade Hazard, I'm going to use this wet and I'm also going to use my finger as well. I'm just going back and forth with the two. But I'm going to place that right on the center of my lid space on top of gloves on. I'm going to place it right at the center and then I'll blend it out towards the outer and inner corners just diffusing it everywhere. Hazard is a really really beautiful color and I think on top of a black base it just shines through even more. Like you really see those little specks of yellow glitters in it. Going back into the shade Maintenance, I'm going to run this all over my lower lash line. Just from the outer corner right to the inner corner, smoking this out. I want the dramaticness on the top lid and also on the bottom lash line as well. So that way it is evened out. And I'm also going to go back into the shade Gloves On and I'm going to press this up against my lower lash line. I'm not going to take over the shade Maintenance because I still want that gradient, but this is just going to help deepen up the look, make everything look cohesive. And lastly, I'm just going to use a black coal eyeliner. This is the Sigma Longwear Eyeliner Pencil in the shade Wicked. And I'm just going to use this to tightline my entire bottom waterline. Alright guys, so this completes the first look for my lashes. I am wearing the Demure Lights from House of Lashes. My blush is Construct from the collection and my lip color is the Ultra Thin Lip in the shade Speed Up, also from the collection as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this intense, dark, smoky eye. I feel like I haven't done something this intense in a very long time and I'm loving it. Alright, so to get started with the second look, I'm going to take the shade Culture and I'm going to use this as my transition shade. I'm just going to put that straight into my crease using windshield wiping motions. You guys know the drill, you've seen me do this multiple times before. But I'm also going to bring this onto my lower lash line as well, just connecting it at the outer corner and bringing it all the way into the inner corner of my lower lash line. Now I will be taking the shade Maintenance and I'm going to put that at my outer third. I'm going to bring some of it into the inner part of my crease, but I want most of the darkness to be at the outer corner. Because I want this eye look to be more cat-eyed, I want most of the darkness at the outer corner and all the lightness in the inner corner. That way it can really bring up my eye shape. I'm also going to take this shade onto my lower lash line as well. I'm going to press it up against my waterline, but only at the outer third. I'm not going to bring it all the way in. Now I'm taking the shade Gloves On. I'm going to be doing exactly the same thing. I'm going to put it at the outer corner. I'm not going to really bring this one into the inner part of my crease. I'm just going to focus it at the outer corner. And once again, just pushing that up against my lower lash line, but right at the outer third. Now I'm using the shade Drill, I'm going to use this shadow wet and I'm going to place that right at the center of my lid, diffusing it around the crease. I don't want this to look like a cut crease or anything, I want it to be blown out, very diffuse and very soft. So I'm just going to just dab around the edges to really blend that out. And then taking the shade Dead End, I'm also going to use this wet as well. I'm going to bring that towards my inner corner as well. Dead End is a really pretty shade. It has a lot of specks of silver glitter in it. So it really does catch the light really beautifully. I really like this shade. And to finish off the look, I'm just taking my Odyssey in Moisture Eyeliner in the shade Coffee. And I'm going to use this to highlight my bottom waterline, but only at the outer third. I'll probably swap it around the middle.
Alright guys, so this is the second look completed for my lashes. I am wearing the Bedouin Lights from House of Lashes. My blush, once again, is Construct. And for my lip color, I am wearing Slow Down. Getting started with the final look, I'm gonna start off with the shade Caution and I'm gonna apply this all over my lid. I just want this to be the star of this eye look, so I'm gonna put this in my crease first, just using my usual windshield wiping motions to get that transition and blend. And then I'll also bring that all over my lid as well, just to get an even application of this shade. I'm then going into the shade Maintenance and I'm going to mix it with a little bit of gloves on as well. I'm going to take this on an angled brush and I'm going to start creating my wing. I want a diffused and very smoky wing. I don't want anything too precise and harsh because I feel like if I was to use a gel liner or something, it would really take away from the yellow. So I'm just going to start doing my usual wing like how I usually would, but instead with these two eyeshadows. I'm going to use both of these shades to smoke out my lower lash line. As you can see, I am connecting it at the outer corner right at the end. That way it can connect the wing on top. Next, I'm taking the shade Warning. I'm using this shadow wet. I'm going to apply this at the center of my lid, but close to the liner that we just created, like the smoky wing. And I'm just going to apply it where the smoky wing and the yellow kind of meet together. It has a lot of yellow gold reflex in it, so I feel like it really complements the yellow very nicely. So I'm just going to apply it where the smoky wing and the yellow meets. And to finish off the look, I'm taking the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Punch and I'll use this to tightline my entire bottom waterline. It's not exactly as the same as Caution, but it is very similar. Alright guys, so this is the final look completed. For my lashes, I am wearing the Kiss Lashes in the style Ritzy. For my lip pairing, I decided to go with Slow Down once again. But I hope you guys like this look. It's a little bit more bold, more of a statement, but in a way, I still feel like it's very wearable and still subtle. Alright guys, so that is pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Which look was your favorite? I would love to hear your thoughts. And with that being said, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye!